I'm going to do a quick video here showing my favorite car launcher to use on my Android car stereo. This one is called Car Launcher. Very simple. They have a free version and a paid version. This is the paid version. I think it was about $2. I don't know the difference. Neither one of them have ads. I, maybe there's just more features. I'm not really sure. Anyway, it has a really nice modern look. Almost kind of like what I feel like you would see like in a Mercedes or something like that. In the middle here, you can set whatever apps you want to have. You just kind of scroll them up and down. You can change the order. Put what you want there, what you don't want there. There's an app drawer for all the rest of them. Very simple, very basic, and easy on that part. The best part about this is the fact that you can make the different parts clickable and have multiple functions. So right now I have the Firebird logo in the circle here. I press it. Now I have a digital clock. Press it again. I actually have an analog speedometer, and that goes off of the car's GPS speed. You can customize it any way you want and use any widgets that are built into the car launcher or built in to just regular Android and put them there. Same thing over here. I have my power amp widget because I use that for my MP3s. I made it clickable where now it's a digital speedometer if I'm not using power amp. And again, you, I can click on it. It'll take me right to power amp. Go back to home. I can do play pause from the home screen, skip, or whatever I want to do. And you kind of have another music capability down here too on the bottom this is set with car launcher you can use whatever you want to use it for i have youtube music you can use pandora or youtube or spotify i believe works too and with that again i can click the actual toolbar it takes me right to it to my youtube music and i can play pause or skip tracks and so on On the side over here, they have a pullover bar. Right now it's showing speed, but you can add other functions. Let's go to add. So if I want to say, let's say what my max speed was, or let's say zero to 60 kilometers per hour acceleration. Let's do max speed. And you can have it set also, do you want your trip just today, the week, the month, or forever. So let's say my max speed today, and then hit the save. So my max speed is 56 miles per hour today. I'm all back roads here. No real fast place to go. And it'll save all that and it'll reset however you want to reset it. So let's go to the settings. They have a couple different themes here. You know, you have a more blocky with larger icons that you can scroll. I'm using the theme leather. I kind of like the look of it the best. And there's one more I can download. And all these are customizable any way you want. And then if you go into edit your theme, Here's where you can change your color. You want to go black, blue, green, red, more of an orangish there, or you can use a photo for your background. And I didn't mean to go all the way out. Again, here's where you would modify your clicks. So if I want to add something else or take away the speedometer from when I hit the bird, I can do that. I can add the Google Now microphone up here if you have Google Now installed on your radio, which sometimes is not that stable, but you can. Any launcher, any widget, if I want to do a Spotify widget, if they have one, I can put it here, put it at the bottom. So very, very customizable. Now, word of note, to add the picture is actually very, very tricky. It wants you to have an app called Gallery to actually be able to view the pictures to select one. And Gallery just does not work on this at all. It won't show any images whatsoever. So I actually had to download Google Photos on my phone and the radio. And then I had to, on Google Photos for my phone, upload it to the cloud, and then come on the radio, download it from the cloud, and then it showed up. Otherwise, I just could not get any images to show up to be able to select for here. But I got it working finally. And again, it's I, I do like the multi-functions. I don't know why I would need an analog clock, because I have a digital clock right there. But you can do it. I mean, I could put a large digital clock here, time, date. Final part that I find interesting is if you want to dim your screen quickly for nighttime driving. A lot of people complain to do it on a lot of these Android radios, you know, for this one, you have to pull down, pull down again, and then I can click off screen. And then the only way to turn it back on is hit a sidebar function. With this car launcher, all you got to do is press the date and there you go. It's done. It's dimmed. I still have my digital speedometer. I have the clock, the date, and a battery function. I'm not sure what it's saying. 66% battery full when there is no battery um, hooked up to this thing. And again, to bring it back, Anywhere on the screen, automatically dims back. So that part right there is really cool. But I recommend if you have any Android car stereo, give Car Launcher a try.